Ready? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. The most satisfying lamp. Something that people have been trying to make since, since lamp. Um, and that begs the question, what is the most satisfying lamp? Hey, excuse me, this is boring. Can you skip to something that's more interesting? Okay, instead of trying to explain what the most satisfying lamp would be, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. How's that? Yeah, okay, but do it fast and make it funny. Okay, watch this though. First up, the light itself. I like lightsabers and silly straws. So I'm gonna combine them together and make a spiral light bulb that turns on like a lightsaber. Hey, make it funnier. Okay. How about next up, switches. Remember when I went to Home Depot and I was checking out, I was just looking at switches there and there was that guy in the background screaming. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that was funny. And it got a lot of views on TikTok. Unlike your long form YouTube videos, which don't get very many views. How, why is that? That's a good point. Well, if you are still watching, my idea is just to buy a bunch of switches and hook them up to the light so you can manipulate light while exploring satisfaction. Jesus, do a joke or something. Did you hear the one about the, the pencil that like, if, uh, yeah, if I was, if I was a pencil and my pen, I had a pencil wife whose ex was a pen, pff, I'd be insecure. You know what? Uh, go back to the lamp stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause the pen, yeah, the pen could go forever and never have to be sharpened and I mean, I mean, look at, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. No, go back to the lamp stuff. How are you even going to do that? Good question. You're going to ask AI, aren't you? No. I'm going to use an Arduino. Do you even know what that is? Yeah. Can you explain to me what an Arduino is to me like I'm five, please? I'm done. Come on. You're going to leave right when it starts to get hard. Yeah, that sounds, sounds like you. Well, anyway, I, I think I have enough switches. I just need to get a good meaty feeling knob. Hey, that was kind of funny. Shut up. So I went to the Goodwill to feel some knobs and I ended up liking this one, bought it for $20, took it home with me, uh, took it apart, and there was a bunch of stuff in there. I hooked it up to the Arduino, and it didn't work. That made me angry. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Before I had the lightsaber spiral idea thing, initially I was thinking something more like this, with three RGB light bulbs. But there's two big problems with this. These types of light bulbs are not cheap and it just wasn't exciting enough just to have three light bulbs. So enter the spiral. This ended up being expensive anyway, so that's why today's video is sponsored by my Patreon. The goal is to have a garage so I can replicate that Ty Lopez video where he's like, here in my garage. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. For me, it would be like, you know, making stuff. But right now I'm in my living room. This might look daunting, but it's really just a matter of 3D printing and modeling. The real hard part is gonna be the coding. And the thing about coding is that I don't. So I have to learn. For practice, I rigged up an LED to the Arduino and I got it to blink on and off. And I did feel good about that. But for this lamp, there's going to be multiple switches, potentiometers, LEDs, individually controllable LEDs, animations, rainbows, and all that jazz. So, jazz. So yes, I am using AI for, to help me code. But even using AI, it's still super tedious. So I moved on and I worked on the spiral, but this one sucked, so I printed another one. 
and that took 15 hours to print. I actually made three different spirals, but the last one you saw was the is the, the one that was that the, the cho that I chose to put on the. See, look at that. Stands up on its own. Now, getting the LED strip through the spiral, I tried a couple of things. I tied a, a weight to the end of a string and then like kind of shook it through and then tied that to this LED strip and pulled it through. That didn't work very well. That was tough. I tried just uh, sucking it through. <clears throat> I got plastic bits from the inside of the spiral. Don't do that. So the best thing was a vacuum. I put a vacuum on the end of the spiral, went right through. Back to the rest. So off camera, I've been hooking up all the switches to the Arduino, which I really have no idea, or I had no idea how to do that until I started. And then I 3D printed the panel. And as you can see, I got a little bit like way too excited about that. That's nice. Dude. And without it even being hooked up to anything, it's still super fun to just push all these buttons. So, and now it's time to 3D print the box that everything is going to go in. This is going to go well. Yeah, so we're really pushing the limits of this 3D printer. I tried again, also didn't work, but instead of like trashing it, I just printed the second half separately. It was a blessing in disguise because it made it a lot easier to put everything together. The five pound weight, it's not gonna fit in there. So I tried putting the 2.5 in there, but it's not enough weight. So I decided I'm just gonna glue a 10 pound weight onto the bottom and problem fixed. Now, if you're wondering why the 10 pound weight, that's because without that, it would slide around when you are pushing the switches without like act like holding it also and that's not satisfying so we don't want that if you're wondering why the orange color basically what happened with that is i have orange red blue black and white for like opaque filament colors and what happened was i chose orange and so and that's what happened with that Lamp's done. Let me show you what it can do. So first up, we have the jumbo rocker. Then to make it go through the colors, hit this toggle. And you can speed up that process with the speed knob here. If you like a color and you want to stay at that specific color, all you have to do is turn the toggle down and now you're, fr you're frozen there. And one of my favorite features actually is just turning down this speed knob and then watching the the lights turn on off and on which actually looks better in person i'm learning that filming lights is very difficult next up i'll show you the buttons so if you press a white button it'll send a dot going up and down the spiral if you want to delete that dot press the red button white button makes the dots red bu red button deletes the dots Now, if you want to make them faster, go ahead, make it faster, or make it go kind of slow. If you want to make a whole bunch of dots go freaking crazy, go for it. And then if you don't want to delete them all one by one, just hold this down, and now they're gone. And yes, you can turn on jumbo rocker mode and have dots going. It doesn't show up the greatest on camera, but it looks pretty dope in person. And it can also be going through the colors while there's dots happening. So that's fun. Let's say you're in jumbo rocker mode, but you just want a regular lamp. All you have to do is press the buttons in a certain sequence. And that brings you to classic lamp mode. In this mode, you can turn this knob and that'll bring you to a white light a yellow light or an orange light just to have some nice ambient lighting. 
this fader here is almost always brightness. And yes, you can also have dots in this mode. Next up, we have the red toggle switch. This switch basically just sends a wave of darkness up the spiral. And yes, you can you can change. This is a uh, the jumbo rocker mode is what's in the background. So if you whatever color you set the jumbo rocker mode to, so let's set it to this purplish color. Then turn on wave mode. Then it sends the wave through that way. In wave mode, you can press the buttons to pause the wave with the white button. The, the red button reverses the wave, which looks cooler when actually, if you switch the key switch in this mode, it, goes, it does a little kind of fun glitchy thing, and then it, it starts going through the colors. And these are just the color wheel colors. And yes, the speed knob also works in this mode so you can pause it and then reverse it if you hold the red button down and hit the white button down then it's permanently going the other direction so now it's going down you can hit the button to reverse it now let's say we'll turn that mode off so now it's back to just regular wave mode and then turn this toggle on now it's wave mode but it goes through a gradient of colors and you can still reverse it. Now you might be thinking what happens when you turn all three of these switches on? Well, then that brings you to comet mode. So this is like one color led by another color with some darkness in between. So they kind of look like comets going up or, or down if you reverse the direction. And they can go real fast or very slow. If we're in comet mode, you may have noticed this before, and we turn it off, it becomes like kind of glitchy. And this was an accident, but I think it looks dope. It looks cool at faster speeds as well. Kind of makes it look alive. Next up, we have this rainbow key switch. So when you turn this, we have rainbow mode. And this mode, if you press a white button, it lengthens each color by a little bit. And if you hold it down, it continuously lengthens them so you can go all the way, you can go super far and if you turn the speed knob up, that's fun. And same thing with the red button, it, it decreases the length. Let's say you go out way too far and you wanna reset it, just turn it off and back on it and we're back to base rainbow mode. But my favorite part with this mode, well, there's two things I like, but if you go this way, let's turn down the speed a little bit. Keep going, it starts to get kind of wonky. Let's turn on the speed even more. That's weird. Now it looks like it's going the other direction for some reason. And then, and that's the limit. You can hold both these buttons down and it pauses it, then turn the speed knob and it turns the whole thing. If you turn on rainbow mode and this toggle, it just makes it go the other direction and twice as fast. Now you might be asking, what happens if you turn all four of these on at the same time? Well, let's try it. Now we've made it to secret mode. In this mode, you can turn this, this knob and that determines how many of the LEDs are lit up. If you slide the fader, that changes the color. And then all the way at the end is another rainbow. 
Now I think we've made it to this last big button here. At any point, you can press this button and it goes into bouncy ball mode. In this mode, there's two, basically two bouncy balls, uh, one bouncing from the bottom and one with reverse gravity bouncing from the top. If you press the white button, it changes the color of the ball bouncing from the top until you can also make it disappear. Now it's just the ball bouncing from the bottom. You can change the speed of this as well. Change the color. Have them both going. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.